Hello! In this video, we'll talk about the operands used by instructions, and in particular, focus on register operands. So recall from our example of add a plus b, a equals b plus c, that a, b, and c are operands, and they, there were two sources and a destination. They have to be stored physically somewhere in the computer, and uh, three choices of where we can keep operands are in registers, in memory, or as constants. Uh, registers are where we have a small set of information, usually stored in flip-flops or a register file, that can be accessed very quickly. Uh, memory is usually built with SRAM or DRAM, and it has a larger capacity, but also a longer access time. And constants are also known as immediates. Uh, they are physically in the instruction itself, so they're hardwired into the instruction. Let's focus on uh, registers. RISC-V has 32 registers, each 32 bits wide. Uh, these registers are much faster than accessing memory, and RISC-V is known as a 32-bit architecture because it operates on 32-bit data. There's an extension to uh, RISC-V, a 64-bit version of the architecture, in which the registers are 64 bits wide, and when you load data from memory, you get 64-bit chunks. This leads us to design principle three, that smaller is faster. RISC-V only has a small number of registers, 32 of them. And computer architects pick that size of the register file very carefully. The uh, clock period of the system uh, could be limited by many different things. It could be limited by the ALU speed. It could be limited by time to uh, fetch an instruction or access data memory, um, or it could be limited by the register file. And we choose a small enough register file that it's not the limiting factor in the computer, so it doesn't prevent us from building fast computers. The 32 registers in RISC-V um, are known as X0 through X31, and they can be called by these X's, but they're more commonly called by uh, other names that have some uh, convention to the programmer. Uh, register 0 uh, is named 0, or also X0, and it's hardwired to the constant value 0. Uh, the value 0 shows up in computer programs so often that it's helpful to have a register that's just hardwired to always have 0. That leaves us 31 other registers to do interesting things with data. In principle, you could store any uh, information in any register, but programmers have agreed on a convention in which uh, they use certain registers for certain purposes, and that makes it easier for two different programmers to write different functions that can talk to each other easily. So X1 is known as the return address, and it's used to store the um, address that you should return to after a function call. X2 is called the stack pointer, and it's an uh, address in memory uh, with the top of the stack, which is used for holding variables as we do function calls. And we'll come back to that later on. Uh, there's a global pointer and a thread pointer. Um, we won't talk about too much in uh, this chapter. But the remainder of the registers are um, divided into three groups, uh, S, T, and A, for saved registers, temporary registers, and arguments. The S registers are used by the programmer to store variables. So there's S0, S1, and S2 through S11. Total of 12 registers stored in X8, X9, and X18 through 27. Uh, these are variables that need to hold their value uh, when you return from a function call. The temporary registers, T0 through T2 and T3 through T6, are used uh, for holding temporary results. For instance, uh, when we did that um, a equals b plus c minus d, we needed a temporary register to hold an intermediate result. And then the a registers are arguments. These are used for values passed to a function and values returned from a function call. So as a programmer, you can use either name, the x's or things like RA and 0, but using the name is clearer to the reader. 
So let's rewrite our um, previous instructions using these real registers. So we had add a equals b plus c, or a equals b plus c, and now let's say we wanted to keep the variable a in register s0, b in s1, and c in s2. Then we would re rewrite our program as add s0 gets s1 plus s2. The uh, pound symbol in an assembly language program indicates a single line comment, and it's a good idea to have comments in your code uh, to indicate what registers are being used for what variables to make it easier for your reader. In another example, let's uh, introduce a constant, add a equals b plus 6. Uh, we introduce a new instruction, add i, stands for add immediate, and it takes a destination, a source, and a constant, or immediate. So here again we have a and s0, b and s1, so we'll add s0 gets s1 plus 6.